Hey there, Ride the Car Guy here, and today we are going to program an additional key for the Ford Mustang GT. This video is not about programming the little uh, remote key fobs. This is about programming the chipped keys themselves. Modern keys all have chips in them that uh, will effectively not let you start the car even if the key is cut correctly. So we need to program that little chip. We can do that at home if we just have a few simple things. Here's what you'll need. You'll need, of course, your new key that has a transponder in it, a little uh, chip there, a currently working key or a master key, some type of OBD2 communication device. I'm using the OBD Link MX, um, but you can get ones that plug in USB directly into your laptop. This is just a Bluetooth version of that. You also need a program called Forescan with an extended license. Now the software and the license are free. You just need to go to the website and download the software. Once the software is downloaded, you can register an account, just put in a username, a password, create the account. Once that account is activated, you just simply go to their website and request an activation code. It generates the code instantly. After you get it, you just simply go into the software, go into the settings, copy and paste that code into the settings of the software, click activate and away you go. Once you've done that, take your OBD reader and just plug it into the OBD port. Then go to your PC and open up the Forescan software. Take your good key, the one that currently works, put it in and put your car in the on position. Once it's in the on position, go click connect in the lower left hand corner of the Forescan software. It says here, just ask for a few prompts, it says make sure it's on, click OK. And then it's going to go ahead and connect to our OBD reader. I've connected previously, so it shows a recorded profile. I'm just going to confirm it. And then it's going to go through and read things like the trouble codes and just look at the system and make sure everything's on the up and up. Once it's connected, we just want to go to the little wrench over here, click on service function and go to PCM paths programming. Just make sure that's highlighted and then scroll down and hit this little play button down here. It gives us a quick breakdown of what each of the items does. Ignition key programming is what we're actually going to do. Um, that is just adding an additional key. Erase and program keys is to completely wipe out all of the existing keys and program new ones. Spare key programmable is whether or not it allows the system to accept spare keys. Just click OK. And here it tells you how many keys are currently stored in the system. I have three. Um, technically it's two. One's lost, um, but I'm not going to go through the trouble of deleting it but I'm going to program a fourth and just have that spare. So we're going to choose ignition key programming. It says here that there's a time to access. So effectively it's going to give you a delay. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's an anti theft thing. I'm, I don't really know, but uh, it could take up to 12 minutes to allow us to get past this step. So I'm just going to click okay. And now down below you see a progress bar. It's going to sit uh, could take again up to about 12 minutes. So we're going to let this sit and then it'll prompt us for the next steps. Now this next part we need to do pretty quickly. We know that because it says it right here on the screen. It says security access may be lost if the following actions are not completed in 10 seconds. The timer starts as soon as the ignition key is switched off. So we need to turn the ignition switch off, take the key out, put the new key in and put it back into the on position and click OK within 10 seconds. Shouldn't be an issue. Let's get started. Pull that out, put the new one in, back in the on position, click OK. Now it's going to go program the key. Excellent. That was so fast. It says, Pat's reported about success, but counter of the program keys has not been increased yet. So we're going to turn on and off the ignition again, re enter the Pat's menu, and check if the counter's been increased. So off, back on, click OK. Now it says number of keys stored four. So that's it. We went from three to four. I have my new key and now it's been programmed for this ignition. The last thing we need to do is disconnect this and make sure it actually starts. So click cancel here. And I like to go back to the information settings and just actually uh, disconnect here first. And then once it's disconnected here, just close the software and then pull my actual OBD reader out. So we'll set this aside and give it a try. So 
So that's it. We programmed our key and now it works in the ignition. So looking back on that, that's actually a pretty simple job considering you don't have to take it to a dealership and pay a bunch of money to have them do it. As long as you have a laptop and an OBD reader, the rest is pretty simple and free to do. Check the description below for links. I put the blank keys that I used in this video down there. I also put in my OBD reader and the links to the software to use as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. Follow me on Instagram at RyeTheCarGuy and head to my website, rtcg.tv, to see what I'm up to. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.